All right, nine, so let's take a look at question number two. So question number two says the surface area of a sphere is 1,000 centimeters squared, and you have to determine the diameter of the sphere. Well, hopefully you remember that diameter is equal to twice the radius. So the length of the diameter is equal to um, twice the radius. So um, we know that the surface area of a sphere, so let's write that formula down, the surface area of a sphere is equal to 4 pi r squared. Um, so in this case, we know that the surface area is 1,000. Um, so we're going to replace the surface area with 1,000. And that's going to equal 4 pi r squared. Um, and we don't know r, but we can find it. So what we want to do first then is we're going to take this whole 4 pi. We're going to take the 4 pi um, to the other side. Because if you remember, this is 4 times pi times r squared. So when I take it to the other side, it's going to be an opposite operation. So it's 4 pi times r squared. So it's going to be divided. So that's 1,000 divided by 4 pi is equal to r squared. And now I'm going to leave, um, I'm going to simplify this a little bit. I know that I can divide 1,000 by 4. Um, and so I end up with 250 over pi is equal to r squared. So now in order to figure out what r is, I need to take the squared to the other side. And when I take a squared to the other side, I know that the opposite operation then is square rooting. So I'm going to take the square root of 250 over pi, and that's going to be equal to r. Now, this right here would be an exact value, but we want the approximate value. So we're going to now use our calculators, and we're going to do our square root function. So if you remember, mine is the yellow above the pi. So to get that yellow, I have to go and press the yellow button over here, the second F button. When I press that and then press the pi button, you'll see that the square root sign shows up. So it's an expression under the square root. It's 250 divided by pi. So because it's an expression under the square root, I have to make sure in my calculator that I put it in brackets. Otherwise, it'll take the square root of 250 and then divide that answer by pi. So I'm going to do brackets. 250 divided by pi. And I get 8.9 centimeters. So again, um, it could either be 8.9 or we could round it up to 9. We look at the number after, it's a 2, so it's going to stay at 8.9. So 8.9 centimeters is equal to my radius. Now I'm not done yet, right? Because the question actually asked me for the diameter. So make sure you read all the questions. Um, sometimes they, they go a little bit further and it would be a shame to miss out on marks simply because you forgot to read a whole question or you got really excited and just did it and didn't go back and actually look at what the question was asking. So we're going to use our formula here. We know that our diameter is equal to double the radius. And in this case, we know the radius is 8.9. And so 2, um, again, 2 times 8.9 is 17.8 centimeters. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the D here. So this is my final answer. All right, nines, hope that helps.